Is it all the chocolate or something else that you're looking forward to at Easter? Hello and welcome to Paul at Home. My name is Paul and I'm at home and over the next couple of videos I'm going to be talking about some of the Easter events and today one of my little friends has got something that he is really looking forward to. I wonder which character you would like to see today. I can't do it, I'm too excited. And today it's Dudley. Dudley, I can't do it. D Dudley, what is going on? I can't do it, I'm too excited. I, all I want you to do is say hello to everyone watching the video. Uh, I can't do it, I'm too excited. Just what is going on? I'm a bit excited, extremely excited. It's gonna be excellent. You're saying a lot of egg words, I know exclusively extremely excited and um, would you like to tell us what it is that you're excited about? I'm so excited I don't think I can even stay. What, what, what do you mean you're going to leave? No, nope, I'm going to exit. Exit. Extremely. Excited. Excellent! Okay, so you, there's something very much that you're looking forward to. Oh yeah, but I will tell you what it is. Okay, now or at the end of the video. I'll tell you later, because I'm too excited. See you later, bye. Well, thank you, Dudley. I wonder what it is that he's so excited about. What is it that he is looking forward to? We can all look forward to lots of different things, can't we? Birthdays and celebrations, meeting up with people, holidays, there might be all sorts of things that we look forward to. In the Bible, the people of Israel, they also had things that they were looking forward to. They would look forward to celebrations and feasts. They were also looking forward to a promise that God had made. God had promised that he would send a Messiah, a great saviour. But the people of Israel didn't know that God had already kept his promise. Jesus had been born in Bethlehem to be God's promise to the world. He was born to be the King of Kings, the Messiah, and the Saviour. And in fact, 400 years before Jesus was born, God told a prophet Isaiah to write these words. See, your king will arrive, gentle and riding on a donkey. God was about to keep his promise in a real, incredible way. People from all over Israel were starting to gather and meet in Jerusalem to celebrate a festival called Passover, a time when they stopped and remembered good things that God had done. Jesus also was on his way to Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they arrived, Jesus said to two of his disciples, go ahead to the village in front of us and there you will find a donkey and her colt. Untie the donkeys and bring them to me. And if anyone should ask what you're doing, just say, the Lord needs them. Well, the disciples headed off. Come on, let's go. I'm on the way. The two disciples followed Jesus' instructions and there in the village, just as Jesus had described, two donkeys, a mother donkey and her young donkey, a colt. The disciples untied the donkeys, but just as they were doing this, the owners of the donkeys arrived and said, and what do you think you are doing? For a second, the disciples didn't know what to do. And then they remember Jesus' words. They looked at the owner and said, the Lord needs them. The owners must have said it was OK. And they continued to untie the donkeys. And they took the donkeys to where Jesus was on a place called the Mount of Olives. As the two disciples with the donkeys arrived back, some of the disciples took their coats off, put their coats on the back of the donkey. And it was the young donkey that Jesus sat on. And then they headed off down the hill towards Jerusalem. As they arrived in Jerusalem, Jesus and his disciples saw in front of them a great crowd of people. And when the crowd saw Jesus, well, they started to take their coats off. 
they started to lay their coats down on the floor in front of Jesus so the donkey could walk on their coats. It was like something amazing had happened. It was like someone incredible had just arrived. And the crowds were beginning to cheer. The crowds were beginning to shout. Glory to God! Hosanna in the highest! Blessed is the King! Glory in the highest heaven! Glory to God! But some of the religious leaders of the town did not like what was happening. And they said to Jesus, This isn't right. Why don't you tell these people to be quiet? But Jesus said, if the people are quiet, the stones along the road will cheer instead. Hooray, I'm a rock called Gladstone. Yay. The people of Israel were cheering and celebrating something good that they knew that God had done. God had kept his promise, the promise that they had been looking forward to. Now, maybe they didn't really understand what it meant, and they certainly didn't know that Jesus was going to be killed on a cross. But just for this moment, yay! Hosanna in the highest! They were celebrating the good things that God had done. Glory to God! Hooray! And Jesus was heading towards the cross. What was in front of him as he looked forward? he was going to face execution on a cross. But even there in Jerusalem, as he looked forward, he could see the crowd in front of him. But also in front of him, he could see the markings on the back of that donkey. A line down the donkey's back, a line across the donkey's shoulders in the shape of a cross. This is what Jesus was heading towards. Jesus had been born to show people God's love. And Jesus was going to die for God's forgiveness. But I wonder what things you might be looking forward to about Easter. Is it the chocolate? Or maybe you're looking forward to the good news story of Jesus' death and resurrection. Let's try and remember some of the good things that God does in our lives. But right now, a little friend of mine called Dudley has got something that he's looking forward to. Let's go and ask him what it is. Oh, I'm still excited, 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 Dudley, I'm still excited, excited, yeah. <laughs> OK, so I can see you're still excited, really excited. Well, listen, just before I ask you what it is that you're excited about, too excited to talk, yay. OK, let me, um, let me, let me ask you um, about this time when Jesus arrived in Jerusalem on a donkey. Yeah, what did you think of all that? Well, all of those people, they were cheering and shouting. Hooray. And they were celebrating the good things that God had done. Yay. That God had kept his promise that Jesus, the King of Kings, had arrived. Oh, I know, it's very exciting. And so, D Dudley, yeah, maybe you could tell us what it is that you're so excited about. Oh, yeah, I'm really excited about. I think I've guessed. OK, is it Easter? No. But you were using all these egg words. Excellent. Exciting. No, it's not Easter. Oh, is it the chocolate Easter eggs? No, then I don't understand. What is it you're so excited about? It's lunchtime. You're excited about lunch? Oh, I love my lunch. OK, we can have lunch. And we will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye. Some of the donkeys, <laughs> some of the donkeys, some of the disciples took their coats off 